what's going on guys welcome back to another video on mr junior dev i hope you are all well today we're going to be busy with the meal maker project through the learn javascript course on code academy so let's just get straight into it okay so meal maker a restaurant has hired you to create a function for their website that allows them to set a meal and price each morning for today's special Use your knowledge of getters and setters to make sure anyone who uses a new function can generate a meal and a price for today's special without any embarrassing errors. All right, so tasks. Mark, mark the tasks as complete by checking them off. Create the menu object. Okay, so number one, we'll hold the meal price and their respective getters and setters in an object named menu. In app.js, create an empty object, empty menu object. Right, so number two, the menu object will hold the meal and price of today's special as properties and they shouldn't be altered directly within the meal object. Create a underscore meal property with the value of an empty string. This will eventually hold the name of the meal. Next, add a underscore price property with a value of zero. This will eventually hold the price of the meal and should not also not be altered directly. Okay, so number four. We know properties that begin with underscore should not be directly mani man manipulated, but just to validate this knowledge, let's test it out. Below the menu object, directly manipulate the two properties by assigning underscore meal a number value and underscore price a string value. Then below the new assignments console.log menu object to see how not type checking these values could cause confusion for a website visitor. Okay, so this is below the menu object. Okay, so let's run that. Okay, so underscore mule is equal to str is, uh, is indeed a string. Let's just say Okay, next, add set to methods. Number five, to safely reassign two menu properties, we can add set to methods that type check the values being assigned. Below the properties, use the set keyword to create a meal set to method with meal to check as a parameter. Leave the function body empty for now. Okay, so we're going to check we're going to check for meal and as its parameters meal to check
Number six, in the body of the setter method, create an if statement uh, that checks if meal check is a string. If it is, return the objects underscore meal property with meal to check assigned as the value. So if, if the type of meal to check is equal to a literal string. We will return this dot underscore meal. Set it equal to meal to check. Second. They're asking us. So in the body of setter method of the setter method create an if statement that checks if meal to check is a string. Okay, we've got that. If it is return the objects underscore meal property with meal to check assigned as the value. Okay, we got that down. So number seven, utilizing the same procedures as above, use the set keyword to create a price setter with price to check as a parameter. This method should make sure the value associated with underscore price is always a number. Okay, so. Sort of set price. If so. type of plus to take is equal to a number and we're going to return underscore price set it equal to price to check or we'll assign it to price to check okay so we got that below the menu object set the values of underscore meal and underscore price using the newly created setter methods then console.log the menu object to check their functionality. Okay. Okay, so if we set menu.meal, which is the setter method over here, menu.price, which is the price method. Okay, so let's run that. Okay, so meal is a string, underscore price is number nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's correct. So uh, meal is setter and price is setter. So the setter met methods are indeed working. All right, so now, after logging that, let's take that off. Okay, so number nine. Now it's time to safely return values of the underscore meal underscore price properties in a readable form. Instead of directly accessing the properties, we can use a get method that proactively checks if a meal and price have been properly set before returning the values. Below the setters, use the get keyword to create a today's special method. Leave the function body empty for now okay we're going to start off with a comma and then get today's special with 
with no parameters, right? Okay, so let's take that down. Okay, so within the getter method, I just want to put curly braces there just in case, uh, parentheses. Okay, so number 10, in the body of the getter, create an if else statement to check if underscore meal underscore price values exist or are truly values. If so, return a string telling potential website visitors what today's special is. For example, today's special is spaghetti for five dollars which we will replace with the price and if meal and price values do not exist or are falsely return the string meal or price was not set to correctly okay so let's start off with the conditional if mm. if underscore meal and underscore price this is already incorrect because we're working with objects here so this dot underscore meal if you guys recall this dot underscore price so that's already stipulating if it's true or not then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and return uh sorry we're going to return the string over here. Today's special spaghetti is for five dollars. Then we'll replace that five dollars. You can either use concatenation or we can. I'm going to use template literals because I just think it's more convenient and more efficient. So today's special is spaghetti. And then price Let's just add another dollar sign there and if you guys recall use this is an object so use this dot price sorry underscore price um else if it is false you don't need to add any condition since it already negates to false so then return the string meal or price was not set correctly okay so we're just going to replace meal with this dot this cool meal Okay, so we're done with that now. Okay, so finally use the getter methods to console.log today's special. And assuming you you used meal setter to assign a string and the price setter to assign a number to task eight, you should see today's special log to the console. Okay, so we've appended these. Okay, so what we can do here is In order to log this to the console, we're going to need to append today's special. Add today's special. Let's check that. As you can see, 
the output today, especially spaghetti. All right, guys, that was it for today. We're done with Mealmaker and it's working correct.